Greetings to the viewers who are accompanying Jenny to our channel. We wish you and all the viewers good health and wonderful moment on our channel. What even have taken place today? What is the special situation of global security? Please update with us in the following video. Ladies and gentlemen, heavy rain, high winds accompanied by flash floods and turbo water cannons have swept in, washing away the generators of the Three Gorges Dam causing 800 million people to lose power and demand to destroy the dam. Ladies and gentlemen, according to the Chinese local radio, the situation of rain and flood in this country is still as tight as a string. Today has entered the 53rd day, but heavy rain and strong winds continue to sweep China, causing floods upstream to still massively pour into 400 rivers, causing water levels to rise above the red alert level by 1.6 meters. The most notable are still the Yangtze River and the Three Gorges Dam. Flash floods and dinosaur tornadoes continued to appear yesterday, causing a power station of the world's largest dam to be swept away in less than three minutes, killing all 16 southern provinces and cities. Of China lost power on a large scale. China's 800 million people live in the dark. The sky is constantly appearing dark and dark rain, signaling one thing that heavy to very heavy rain continues to fall on China making that the dike could not stand it and had to break. And when it breaks, its water level will inundate thousands of houses, televisions, refrigerators, cars. Floating everywhere. Many people in China have defied the danger of flash floods, climbing out to spread nets to salvage cars, waiting for the flood to come down to repair and make a profit. And if anyone buys these cars, it will be damaged very quickly. So we have to be very careful ladies and gentlemen, Many observers believe that countries around China have borders with Beijing, especially Vietnam, which is right next to China. Do not import the cars but cheeks of this country. Do not be greedy for cheap Chinese goods. If you do not encounter a merciless trick. Experts say that a car that has been flooded with water can only be thrown away or used. It is also prone to problems and breakdowns. In addition, televisions, refrigerators, and rice cookers that were swept away by floods were also picked up by Chinese people, remanufactured and sold to Vietnam. Therefore, Vietnam will definitely not be able to import poor quality products, otherwise it will be deceived by the Chinese side. Ladies and gentlemen, China's media reported yesterday that record-breaking floods hit the Three Gorges Dam for 18 hours, causing the water to rise high and dangerous to the largest Three Gorges Dam in the world. Chinese media said, the second flood on the Trongjong River swept through the Three Gorges Dam, causing the water level at the reservoir to reach 164.18 meters, the highest since the dam was built. Three Gorges Dam, the largest hydroelectric dam in the world welcomes the second flood on the Yangtze River, causing flood water to flow into the dam reservoir with a flow rate of about 61,000 cubic meters per second. The Three Gorges Dam Reservoir once recorded a maximum flow of 50,000 cubic meters per second at 10 a.m. and 55,000 cubic meters per second at 8 p.m. on the same day. But the flow of water into the Three Gorges Dam has reached 61,000 cubic meters per second. This is a record water flow in the history recorded by China, and it severely affected the Three Gorges Dam, causing a power station to be swept away and thousands of houses were submerged in darkness. Dark. All eight surrounding provinces have lost power. Information released by China's Ministry of Emergency Management Men, which said floods in provinces such as Jiangxi, Anhui, Hubei and Hunan left at least 31 people dead and missing, forcing more than two millions of people had to evacuate urgently overnight. Floods also hit China hard, causing 151,000 houses to be damaged and direct economic losses amounting to 65 billion yuan. Much of southern China has been hit by heavy rains since the start of the season, and water in many rivers in the region has already passed the red alert level between 2 and 12 meters. This is an alarming level from the mainland and poses an incalculable danger to the dikes in this area. It is likely that the Three Gorges Dam will break, but until now, the dam has not yet broken. The information on the internet that the dam broke is completely inaccurate. According to CNN, a famous U.S. news agency said that China's worst floods in decades were partly caused by global warming and China's illegal end reclamation. U.S. CNN reported that in the summer of 2022, millions of people across China were affected by torrential rains that caused floods and landslides in provinces, 
cities and villages in many provinces and cities of China. This is the worst flood to hit China in decades. Heavy rains battered 28 out of 31 provinces, affecting more than 37 million people and leaving 159 dead or missing. China's Ministry of Emergency Management said the economic damage was estimated at 86 billion yuan. To compare the 1993 Great Flood along the Mississippi River and its tributaries, one of the devastating floods, and the most devastating in the United States, has caused more than 50 deaths and 54,000 people have been displaced, economic losses amounting to 20 billion US dollars. However, the US news agency said that the heaviest damage in the US was only one hundredth of that of the floods in China at the moment. In late May, early June, heavy rains devastated large areas of the country, including Jiangxi province in the east, Danwei province in the south, and Hubei province in central China. Emergency response for flood control has been raised to the highest alert level at some point in history. The scale of the disaster was enormous. Water levels of 435 rivers exceeded alarming levels, of which 33 rivers reached record levels. According to China's Ministry of Water Resources, in some of the worst hit areas such as Jiangxi, river dikes were broken and houses were destroyed, recalling haunting memories of the historic 1998 flood that cost more than 3,700 people were killed and 15 million people were left homeless. Hearing this, many of you and you will probably wonder why this year floods Heavy rains, earthquakes, tsunamis, flash floods, tornadoes continuously appear in China. Country come like that. Then I would like to tell you that everything has a good cause and reason for it. China has floods almost every day. A combination of climate and human behavior has contributed to longer than normal rainfall periods in some places. Subtropical high-pressure systems over the Pacific Northwest are strong this year. Its interference with the cold climate has resulted in continuous heavy rainfall in the Yangtze River Basin. Some other reasons are global warming, said a Chinese irrigation expert. We cannot say that this single extreme weather phenomenon is a direct consequence of climate change, but over a long period of time, it is clear that global warming has led to an increase in the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events like the one seen in China. According to the Green Book of Climate Change in China, from 1961 to 2018 there was an increase in extreme rainfall in China. Since the 1990s the frequency of extreme rainfall has increased significantly. Over the past 60 years, the number of days of heavy rain has increased by 5.9% per decade. Besides rainfall, human behavior also contributes to the severity of floods in China, such as an indiscriminate cutting of forests, refusal to plant trees, and the constant appearance of irrigation dams to block water, to hoard electricity and cause disaster for China as well as surrounding countries. Currently, the Mekong River's water has been seriously affected because the Chinese side has built and started construction of 13 dams. Decades of land reclamation and dams on nearby rivers have reduced the area and volume of Paying Lake, a geologist with the Sichuan Provincial Mineral and Quality Department said. China's largest freshwater lake is located in Jiangxi Province. This has caused floods to appear continuously and when it appears, it will sweep all areas upstream and downstream of the Yangtze River, directly affecting the Three Gorges Dam, the largest dam, world and if it breaks two-thirds of China will be washed out into the South China Sea. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a name that is said to be quite interesting and very shocking to those who follow China's historic floods, said the China Morning Post, one of the country's famous newspapers, Telling since its founding in 1949, China has experienced two historic floods. The first was in the summer of 1954 along the Yangtze River, causing more than 30,000 deaths and 18 million people affected. In 1954, the Yangtze River did not have the Three Gorges Dam, but floods happened in a very durable way. Another flood that terrified China was in 1998 again along the Yangtze River, but in the south and north of China. It was the worst flood in recent years with more than 3,719 deaths, 15 million homeless and up to $100 billion in economic damage. However, the director of the China Hydrometeorological Center, Mr. Nenchul, commented that this year's floods did not affect a large area of the Yangtze River as in 1949 and in 1998, the historic flood. 1998 in China affected the entire Yangtze region 
but this year's rain mainly affects the middle and lower reaches of the river, so the affected area is said to be small compared to other years. According to the China Central Hydro Meteorological Station, heavy rain and extreme rain will appear in the next few days. Therefore, agencies, departments as well as people must be very vigilant to prevent floods, flash floods and landslides, especially the Three Gorges Dam, which is likely to burst. And information related to the flood situation in China. We will continue to update you and the next newsletter and today's program we would like to pause here. Wishing you a day full of health and happiness. Best regards and see you soon. That was the latest information that we have just updated. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell button to receive the last information, the most accurate from our editorial team. Thank you for, our, for your interest and support. Goodbye and see you in the upcoming video of the program.